Hi guys, and welcome back to our Sprinter Build series. In the last video, we built a water tank from PVC pipe to fit in a narrow space under the van. Our sink and drinking water are stored inside the van. This PVC water tank is solely to supply our shower system off the rear of the van. I will put a link to that video above. Our primary goals with the hot water system were space efficiency, we wanted instant hot water, we wanted it to be affordable and easy to implement. A nice diesel or electric hot water heater solution are relatively complicated and take a lot of valuable space inside the van. There are tempering valves, clean out and winterizing valves, mixers, and all sorts of things that require space. We prefer to leave that room for gear storage. Our inflatable paddle boards take up a lot of room. We store our portable hot water heater in a wasted space under the sink and hang it on the rear doors when needed, but more on that later. Let's pick up where we left off at the last video. Our tank is installed and now we're running the water lines to the rear of the van where the water pump and the wash down dock are located. And here's the hose routing I chose. So the supply line, the, pit, the pump pickup, comes out of the diverter valve. It goes up through the frame there, through there. Up above the emergency brake, parking brake. And then I've got it tied up above. This is for the uh, HID or the bi-xenon headlights. So you may not have that mechanism. And then it goes through a hole back there and then to the back. All right, now from the rear driver's side of the van, here's the hose coming through. And the ultimate goal is to get hit here in the back corner of the van. This is where the water supply is going to go to the shower. And my friend had made a bracket for me to hang the pump. So basically this plate is factory, part of the tow hitch. And he just welded on this little plate. So we'll mount the pump here. And then here is the wiring that I ran into the interior for the switch and the electrical and we'll mount the pump here. And here's our final setup. We have the water pump switch hidden away. We're Kiddos aren't going to get to it. This box has a pressure valve in it, so it will hold pressure. In fact, the system's pressurized now. So we just connect up the supply hose. And that hose connects to a quick connect on the bottom of the unit. Okay, you probably guessed I did some research on hot water heaters before making my selection. I purchased this particular unit for several reasons, and yes, I will link it in the description and put it in our web store. The competitor and the often used heater and van conversions is not constructed as well. Here you can see the full copper internals of the unit we chose over the most popular sold heater on Amazon. The cheaper heaters use a rubber diaphragm valve to detect water flow and to know when to light the burner and many of them activate around 25 to 30 PSI. The problem here is many RV water pumps are only spec to provide 35 PSI. This can provide problems keeping the burner lit, and the unit that we use has a more expensive magnetic flow sensor that will activate with just 2.5 PSI of water pressure. The flow sensor is also not constructed of rubber and will last longer. In general, we think that the copper construction and the more precise magnetic flow valve makes this a better heater for use in a van or RV. Now with the pump on, all I have to do is hit the start switch on the wand, and as soon as it detects pressure, the hot water heater will light and provide the hot water, and then when you hit pause on this, it'll stop the burner up here. And 
now the water's hot. So I found that it takes about three or four seconds when you first turn it on to get hot water. But I've also noticed that when you, when you pause it and you get soaked up and then you turn it back on some whatever minutes later, then it provides hot water right away as you would expect. Now you're probably wondering why I had this mounted so high and the reason for it is I'm going to use a shower curtain that covers the back doors and it's going to go all the way around so that you don't have water that gets in the van and of course so you have privacy but the curtain's going to come to about this height and by getting the water heater up high that meant that I didn't have to worry about all the heat the exhaust heat coming off the unit from uh, melting or catching my uh, my curtain on fire so that's the reason that i have it mounted so high now i'll show how this is supported just like hanging a picture and on the rear doors i used a couple of these uh, l-track stud fittings so those have studs and I just made this aluminum plate, drilled a hole, and pulled a bolt through it. So there's a wide spot on that bolt, and that's what will let the, the heater hang from it. One thing I'm gonna do is put a small spot weld here, just so this nut can't spin off. And for storing the unit, I slide it into this bracket I made. and I put it under the sink. This way I just can't tip over or go anywhere. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.